Welcome to Rethink, the podcast that empowers you to challenge your existing beliefs and embrace new, more productive ways of thinking. Here at Rethink, we believe that the key to self-fulfillment lies in shattering old thought patterns and adopting new mindsets that support personal growth and empowerment. With expert guests and thought leaders from a wide range of fields, we explore strategies and insights that can help you achieve success and fulfillment in all areas of your life. From relationships to career, business ownership, and health, you are the source of your own success. We're just here to help you tap into your true potential and create a brighter future. So join us on the journey of personal growth and empowerment And let's rethink what's possible for our lives. So today is a Saturday. And uh, for those of you who are checking us out on YouTube, yeah, I look very casual uh, today. Um, But it's a downtime day. And that's what I want to talk to you about really quick. I've had a really, really good day. And I just want to kind of pop in and just kind of share a few thoughts and hopes to encourage uh, listeners and viewers. And the thought's relatively simple. Let's take care of ourselves. Let's detach. Let's not, you know, hold on so tight. And let's not be so in um, let's not be so ingrained into the outcome. Into the outcome. Let's put our uh process forward. Let's put some progress and some, you know, good hard work in throughout the week. But then let's take some downtime. Let's rest. Let's rest. Let's uh show. The, uh, the universe or God or source or whoever, you know, your God of your choice is that I believe that these things I'm putting forth are actually going to manifest. And I believe it so much that I'm taking the day off. You take it from here. Today, I woke up. It's about seven o'clock. Uh, I, well, actually, I woke up about 530, took my dogs out, but I've got a really itchy little Frenchie. And so she uh, he got a bath today at about seven. So I'm up and you know, give my dog a bath. And I find things like that, especially on Saturdays, on the weekends, when I'm getting caught up around the house and I'm checking things off my list, got my guided meditation, you know, uh, in the background, my YouTube, and I'm not in front of my computer screens, my computer screens. I'm not analyzing anything. I'm not trying to check data and stats and all this other kind of stuff. Phone's not ringing. I find it a very um, meditative time for me. I find it a self-care type of deal because I love to get things done. It makes me feel good. Like I'm making some progress and, um, spending time with my dogs a lot of times makes me feel good as well. And just, I, I just love working. And also I went for a walk with my wife and my family, and my grandson today. So all of that was self-care for me. It took me away from the things I was dealing with Monday through Friday. What do you do that helps remove some of the more serious things that we're dealing with on a regular basis. What do you do to help detach yourself away uh, from some of those items? Because it's important that you detach. It's very important for your health, for your mental health, that we detach and show the universe or God or source that we really do trust in this process because the process works. It works. And the reason we know it works is because everything we are, everything we have, now came through this same process. I know many times if I have a thought that's negative or not the best thought, it can manifest so easily. It can manifest so easily. You think about like with your partner or your wife or whoever, and you know, you say, uh, you know, I this or that. And the next thing you know, it's actually happening. Uh, That happens the same way on both sides of the coin, whether it's love or fear, uh, you know, light or dark. We just have to be intentful in terms of our thoughts. And we have to uh, continue to remind ourselves that our thoughts are creative. It's important what we think and feel. And we do our best to think the best thoughts and feel the best most of the time. We put forth the type of plan that we want to see activated and manifested in our lives, it's just a matter of time before it will. You didn't become who you are overnight. There's a series of decisions and thoughts all throughout your life that got you to this point. So reverse engineering that, it's not gonna be an overnight process. I just wanna encourage you that just because you haven't gotten the phone call yet, it's because you haven't seen the deposit yet, uh, just because, you know, she hasn't said yes or he hasn't said yes or whatever the thing is you're waiting on, continue to press forward, 
try your best to minimize its importance. That's difficult. Why? Because we really want this particular thing to happen. We want this special person in our lives. We want this job promotion. I'm tired of living in this apartment, Kelly. I really want the peace and quiet and the serenity of being in my own home now. Uh, Yes, I've been single my whole life. I really want to be married. It's enough time already. Well, here's the thing. Here's what I think about. And I thought about this today. Um, How much is enough time? Where does the measurement come from? If it's us, we would like to have everything we want immediately, like a drive through type of manifestation process. But it doesn't work that way for a number of reasons. Uh, number one, many times we're not really sure what we want. How many times have you got something that you thought you wanted, whether it was a special person or a job upgrade or a car, and it turns out, man, that was the worst car I've ever had. What I'm, what I'm saying to you is detach from the end. What that means to me is this. Put out into the universe the things I want. I have faith and belief that the process works. I do my part in mindfulness and meditation and journaling and putting forth the best thoughts I can every day. When I release it, I release it with a thought of saying, I believe that this is going to manifest. But it's going to manifest in a way that I can never think of a way that's going to surprise me and encourage me and delight me. I try, I'm being completely honest, because I think it's difficult to say that I do this every day, but I try not to visualize how this is going to come to be. Why? Because I'm going to lead it up to the universe. I don't want to do the universe's job. I don't want to do God's job. And listen, I understand how that sounds, especially coming from me, because I believe we're all one and I know we're all one. But that element of it, that duality is still here while we're in this 3D environment. So what I'm saying is uh, that has to do with uh, scriptures that say, like, you know, before you before you even ask, I'm already on the on the job in terms of answering. So be excited about that. Just know that you're an important person, that you do matter and what you're doing matters. So continue to do it. And I want to encourage you to. just uh, this week, this week, take the time and the focus off yourself. Do something for someone else. Do something for someone else. If you've been listening to this channel any length of time, there are two things I love to do. Number one, I love to pay for someone's meal at the drive through and just drive out. There's an anonymity there. You don't, you don't have to confront anyone. There's no ego involved. You're just doing a good deed for somebody. That person's never going to know who you are. It's a wonderful feeling. Number two, you can do the same thing at the grocery store. <laughs> I'm not suggesting that you pay for four or five buggies of grocery, but you can do that if you want to. There's someone behind you. They've got $20 or $30 worth of groceries. Get a $40 cash back. Tell the cashier, hey, this is for the person behind me. And bam. And you leave. By the time they check them out, you're in your car and you're gone and you've done this excellent thing. So what does doing, um, you know, good deeds have to do with my manifestation? Everything. Everything. Why do you want your manifestation? A lot of times I just want the opportunity to be a broader, bigger, broader helper. And that requires more resources. That requires more, uh, net, you know, bigger networks. It requires more vigilant and um, creative thoughts. And when those come to you, you must be in a place of receiving them. But if you're tense and tight and desperate for them, I think we're doing as much pushing away as we are, you know, coming to us. So take some downtime. Take a walk. Take a nice long bath. Glass of wine. Throw the frisbee with your dog. You like to be out in nature, which I love to do. Take a hike, go fishing, you know, walk around the lake, Um, call a friend that you haven't talked to in a while and just be silly. Just be silly. Break away from the serious striving and um, affirming and and holding tight to, to your dreams every day. Dreams are not going anywhere. They will manifest. They are on they're, they're in process. And I believe that 
the the uh, this approach is going to give you the type of longevity that you're looking for. And once it does happen, it like I always say, it only has to happen one time for you this way. Once it does happen, what you will see now is the complete loop of this process. And you start off with the desire. Now remember, and here's the other thing that you got to think about. A lot of times we spend so much uh, of our time focusing on the problem. It's such a terrible thing, this problem, whatever it is. If I'm single and want to be married or if I'm heavy and I want to be, you know, uh, uh, slim, if, I'm, if I have this amount of money, but I want to have that amount of money, whatever your problem is, we, we, we spend so much time on the problem. But I'm going to take a little different approach to that. You know, this is Rethink Podcast. I want to think about it in a different way. What would you have without this problem? Well, you wouldn't have the desire. The desire comes from the problem. Whatever the correction is, whatever the solution is, is coming from the problem is trying to manifest. It's, the, the problem is trying to, um, to, to birth a newness in your environment, in your life. Okay? That's the way I look at it. So if you're in a deficit in any way, let's say financially, you're like, okay, you know, I'm tired of struggling. I'm tired of paycheck to paycheck. Or at this stage in my life, I thought I would be here. What that could be saying is, okay, it's, it's time for you to go there. But you've got to get over this. You've got to learn this new thing. You've got to get out of a lack mindset. You've got to be able to be freer with your resources. You've got to be able to expand your network. Whatever this particular problem solution is, it is also the key to your new, to your new self, to your new life. So that entrepreneurship, if you're currently in corporate, but you want to be an entrepreneur, then this freedom comes from overcoming this challenge. Look at it as a challenge. Let's take away the problem aspect because the problem is actually what's trying to expose to us the very thing that we want. We just understand we can't get to it without this problem or this challenge or this renewed mindset. I'm certain and I feel confident that you um, can do this. You can continue to repeat to yourself that you're confident in yourself. There's nothing wrong with that while you're while you're walking or while you're fishing. There's nothing wrong with you reminding yourself that you are a smart person. That listen, I've gotten this far. And even though it's taken more time than I wanted it to, what it's led me to is this type of conversation. To this video, to this type of conversation, to this podcast, to me really having a better understanding of how to treat myself, the process of manifestation, the process of growth. And where else would I be? Where else would I be but here? This is where I am supposed to be. One of the things that can really that can really be a detriment to a lot of us is thinking that we are not that we're behind. We're not currently where we're supposed to be. Some you know, we compare ourselves to other people, but the real race is is not a race. Your life is the path. You are the path. Life is pressing itself through you every day. You're exactly where you need to be. Everything is okay. You have enough. Your resources are there. More resources will come. They always have. You're a smart person and you will get to where you want to be. That's what I wanted to tell you today. I really appreciate you guys' um, support here at the podcast. I'll be, um, you know, back.
That's all for today's episode of Rethink. We hope that you've enjoyed this exploration of new ideas and perspectives and found valuable insights and strategies that you can apply to your life. Remember, you are the source of your own success and fulfillment. And by embracing new ways of thinking, you can unlock your true potential and yes, create the life that you truly desire. Now, if you've enjoyed this episode, we encourage you to support the podcast by sharing it with your friends, your family members, your loved ones and associates, and even your followers on social media. Also, leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform. Lastly, don't forget to check out our show notes for free downloads and empowering ebooks that can help you on your journey of personal growth and empowerment. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. We look forward to exploring more ideas and insights with you in the next episode of Rethink.